Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about removing CSS from your WordPress website. In the last video, we talked about adding Bootstrap CSS to your WordPress website. In this video, we're going to talk about removing CSS from your website. And the two that I want to talk about is the emoji CSS that is comes in the default ver uh, installation of WordPress. We don't use emojis on our business sites, and we so we don't need that CSS just clogging up every page load. It loads that uh, emoji CSS. And then sometimes we like to manage what CSS comes through with like the Gutenberg CSS, so which is the WP block library. So we're gonna remove the emoji CSS and the Gutenberg block library CSS. So let's get started. So here on the on this page, we have our, our demo bootstrap CSS on, from the last video where we added a the bootstrap CSS. And so we're going to create a new page. We're gonna save it and we're gonna to go to uh, the plugins folder. Let's go back one here. And we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it um, demo remove CSS, create, and then we're going to name the page the same as our folder, remove CSS.php. And then we're going to add some PHP tags here. And this is going to be a very basic plugin. Add some comments here. I said plugin name. And we're going to put AA remove CSS. And I'm putting that at the top because um, I want to be able to find it in the list of plugins. We have a huge list of plugins, but you can call it whatever you want. You can name the file and the folder, whatever you would like, as long as the folder name and the PHP page match those same names. <clears throat> okay, because that's how WordPress looks for that PHP file is based on the folder name. Okay, so now we can save this to our site. We can come back here and before we activate anything, and add any code to it, I want to show you the source of our demo idea pro IO site here, just our demo site. So here we have the emoji um, CSS. Now that is not included like a link rel style sheet like we did in the last video, um, which is down here. The one we did in the last video is down here. This is just printed out to the, the page. So there's two ways to remove a st the styles. And if it's printed, you have to do one way. If it has an ID like this block library CSS here, then you can remove it using that ID. In this last video we did, we did demo bootstrap CSS. So we called it demo bootstrap. And then WordPress automatically adds this hyphen CSS so that they know, or so that you know whether it's a CSS or a JavaScript file. So bootstrap, the demo dash bootstrap is all we used. So I'm going to show you how to remove this part of the code here. All right, so let's go back here. So we're going to do a remove action. And the action that we're going to do is a WP print styles. Styles, there we go. And so what that does is it says, that we want to remove a WordPress printed style because the emojis come default in WordPress. It's not a secondary or a third, a third party plugin or anything like that. And so then here we're gonna put in print emoji styles. And so that is what WordPress calls this style here. Okay, is the print emoji style. We're gonna save that. We're going to come into our dashboard here. We're going to go to plugins and we're going to activate our remove CSS plugin here that we just made. And we go back to our source. We see the source here. And if we do a refresh, it is gone. All right. So that is how we remove the um, emoji style sheet from the front of the website. The next one that we're going to remove is the uh, Gutenberg style sheet. Okay, so this is in the in the last video we did a WP in Q script, and this time we're going to be doing a WP D in Q 
style. Or last time we did a DNQ or an NQ WP NQ style. This time we're going to do a WP DNQ style. So, all right. So here we're going to do a function, and we're going to just call it remove uh, block library. Okay, and so in here we're going to do D WP D Q style, and we're going to do a. So what we want to look for is we want to look for the ID of this CSS file, and as I said before, WordPress automatically adds the hyphen CSS to the slug of the uh, that you've chosen. So we don't want, we want everything except for that hyphen CSS, which is WP block library. We want to put that in there. Okay. And then here we're going to do an add action. And it's going to be the same action as we used here, WP styles, right? And then we're going to just do our callback here, remove block library back here and refresh and now that block library css is no longer there that's all i have for this video thank you for watching if you like this video subscribe remember to tap the bell for notifications leave me a comment and i will see you in the next video